Got this cool package from Fonz Moto, the Australian electric bike company that I've uh, purchased a rather awesome piece of, I'm going to call it artistic tech because it's going to help me do a lot of art actually. And in the sense that it's going to help me to be transported to places where I'll be doing art, such as lately I've been going to um, a lot of a life drawing, which has been awesome, which is really great for, you know, getting better at drawing figures and drawing people, so <clears throat> that's something that you should be doing if you're keen to do better art and whatnot. But uh, yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd open this up and have a look at it, but to tell you the truth, I'm eager to, <laughs> as opposed to sitting here and painting these panels with some awesome artwork, uh, you know, honestly, I'd, I'd like to just go out for a ride. <laughs> It'd be really nice to, you know, get out on the road. So, how about I show you this bike and then um, we'll come back to these custom art panels. What do you reckon? Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boy. I have ridden in the rain before, but uh, it's not particularly pleasant. So I think we will leave that for tomorrow and for now. <clears throat> for now, we will get into doing some awesome custom artwork on these uh, panels that Fonz sent us. Just doing a quick sort of concept sketch of what this is going to look like before I actually draw on the plate. So this is Super Solus and he is a firefighter by day who's trying to get his firefighter crew to create this dragon fighting force and the fellow firefighters don't even believe there is a dragon why does he want to do this well some time ago a dragon attacked the sunshine coast and killed his family in a tragic event we got Super Solus, and I was thinking I might even put his um, title card up in the corner there as well. And then we've got <clears throat> Captain Consor. This is a indigenous character, indigenous man who's trapped inside of a robot body. And he lives right in the center of Australia, lives in this, this experimental city called Southern Cross City. And he is just hacking and clamoring his way through the city trying to figure out a way to find out what's wrong with the city and to figure out how he can go back to being a human being. So Captain Console wears a dry as a bone riding coat, a like black one. Also got a Cobra hat. She is from a totally different planet. She is Dr. Deeds, and she's an alien with unique abilities, and she uses these abilities to infiltrate uh, alien detention centers where immigrant aliens are trapped, basically, from a plethora of different planets, from all different universes. These detention centers are blotted all over the place. And um, she's a doctor who basically got fed up with being a part of a system of conflict and, you know, trying to help people and then seeing it fail again and again on different worlds. And so she steals a ship, uses a medical training to go around helping these people. This is Phantom Phoenix. She is a ghost soldier. She's trapped in the Middle East. She has no body. She goes around possessing soldiers and trying to stop the fighting that's going on around her. And she has no memory of her living life. She just has these haunted feelings and notions from her past life. 
And so she's going around trying to figure out who these people are. There it is. Rough idea of what the concept of the characters in profile are going to look like on the panels. Feeling the confidence to draw on the Fonz NKD panels and let's make this thing look hot. Chucking my Ray-Bans on so I can show you what I'm looking at. This is uh, sort of the reference area where I'll have the characters sitting there so I can just sort of look at them. I'm doing these pencils and they look a little bit rough and I'm, I'm really quite petrified. But I think once I get the Puskas on there it'll start to look a bit better. <laughs> Shit man, I'm nervous though, like this might not work out. <laughs> Captain Console, he's got the robot body, he's got a little bit of the light coming through, the red light. Uh, what I thought was cool is to have the colours of his costume be sort of representative of the Aboriginal flag. The, um, the black, the red and the yellow. So he's got the yellow hat and his grey jacket, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna do sort of as a blue-grey. A First Nations Australian character trapped inside this robot body and so um, he's trying to figure out how to go back to being who he really is. should have done is uh, just grab the bike and draw straight onto the panels that were already on the bike because uh, now I uh, have to take off the other plates and swap them over and I got to cut a big hole out in one of these plates that I was sent but that's all good it's all good there's quite a few more bolts that I got to undo though so we'll do that and my neighbor's gonna help me cut out a drill out a hole for the fast charger and then we'll put the brand new this is the super solace plate and with his cape and then we'll put on the other plates and we'll figure it out and we'll make this work and it's going to look like one awesome piece of art this uh bike except for the dirt i gotta clean it i went on a back trail <laughs> Stopped, got a coffee in the, in the next town from my place and they're uh, letting me charge my bike. Pretty cool, eh? Alright, well, gonna get the custom art plates onto the bike. You good to go? Yeah, got just enough in there to get home, I think. How's <laughs> your light? Does that stay on while it's charging? Uh, just when it's turned on, yeah. Oh yeah, when it's charging, yeah. What'd you say, you got about 200 k's? Yeah, yeah, it probably costs like, I don't know, less than a dollar. <laughs> but I really appreciate you, uh, yeah, letting me do that. That's so cool. That's all right. 
Yeah, thanks. I'm Dan, by the way. Yeah, Wayne, yeah. Wayne. yeah oh, I was going to see you again. I'm going to put... So, what what, what, mod, what make is that one? Yeah, so, Fonz Moto, is a, and that's the NKD Naked. <laughs> yeah, I think they sold over 100 bikes last year. Yeah. Yeah, which was like their first big year of selling that. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Oh, it's only going to grow. No, it's all... It's going to be the go. Next five, ten years, it's going to electric vehicles that are going to be huge. Yeah. Have you seen that uh, Tesla Cybertruck? No. You haven't seen a picture of that? No. A few moments later. Finishing spray. Usually I'd be having another coffee, but on a day like today, good for a hot chocolate. Let's get into it, let's get these plates on this bike. Oh yeah. I was a bit worried, I was thinking, you know, is this gonna look a bit lame? But no, now that it's on there, I'm, I'm really happy with it and uh, whoo, yeah. I like the colors, man. Good, good choices of the colors, I reckon. But yeah, now we're gonna put on the other side, which has the the charging port and um, the fast charging port and the little key lock. So there's a little bit of finagling that I got to do with that, but it's gonna look good. What do you, what do you think? Oh, it looks better than what it did. What do you mean? Like it looked very plain before. What, without, without the paint on it? Yeah. So you like my characters? I just like that there's a bit more colour to it. Right. Before it just looked like a frame. Like it looks like it was missing something. Right. Oh, sweet. No, the colour is all good. But they're my original characters. Yeah, I realise. Yeah. Mm. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're so inclined. And I thank you guys so much for watching. If you're inspired, go do art. Also, if you're looking at these characters and you're thinking, damn, that, that they look like some cool stories and some cool ideas you got happening there. If you want to read more about them and read the comic books that I'm creating for them, uh, I'm going to be starting a Patreon to help me just sort of get the thing going and to allow you guys to have an option to support that uh, work and to show that you want to see more of it. So. I'm going to be uploading comic book pages August. This August 2022 is going to be the month that I do launch the first of these characters and it'll be uh, Super Solus. I'm also going to put a link down below to the Fonz NKD. If you like this bike and you're in Australia and you're keen to get on this electric ride with me and the uh, other Fonz community members then I really think you should. 
you can definitely um, look up on their website too to do a test ride. Some of the guys around the country are doing test rides with Fonz bikes and scooters. And um, yeah, they're really fun. Once you get on one and you have a go of it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I don't think people quite grasp just how awesome these bikes are. And um, it's really cool that they're Australian designed and made. Really happy with how it's turned out. It, it does look cool. And um, as m my mum said earlier, I, I think it would have been cool for dad to see this. He would have absolutely loved it. Uh, but, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're inspired, go do it.